Good morning, Bettina. Good morning, Deb. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you? Good. I was having a hard time with my Zoom. I was like, oh my God, is it connecting? Is it not connecting? So if it took a while to like log on, that's why. We are going to get started. How are you guys? Deb, I just got your message. So excited. It's my day. <laughs> All right, I'm going to, oh, Nat's coming in. I'm going to mute you guys. We're going to get started. Good morning, Nat. We're going to get started full body today. All right. All right, let's get started. So full body workout. So we're gonna do a little bit of everything today. Let's start with warming up, feet shoulder width apart, starting in an air squat. We're going to be doing legs, upper body, cardio, core, a little bit of everything. If you have a smart watch, you can put either a HIIT workout, functional workout. We're gonna bring the intensity today. Five more. Four. Three, two, one. Good. Give me your jacks. Nice and light on those toes. You can always take the bounce out of this if you need to. Whatever feels best in your body. Good. Good morning, Michelle. Good. Let's touch your toes. Get a nice stretch in the back of those legs. Walk yourself out to a plank. Step up with one foot. Plant here, step back. Walk back, touch those toes again. Walk forward, step up with the other side. Step back, walk back. Forward, finding your breath here. Step back, walk back, and forward. You got it. Give me one more side. So this is a little faster than our second one will be. I want you to just warm up those hips, priming your body for movement. Amazing. Slowly round yourself up. Good, feet shoulder width apart. Good. Sitting down into an air squat. You got it. Good, can you get a little deeper this time than you did last time. Find your breath. For five, four, good. Three, two, one, good. Turn it into a jack. Nice and light on those toes. You got it. Ten seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Touch those toes again. So this time, try to keep those legs a little straighter. Don't lock them out, but you want to get a nice stretch in the back of those legs. Walk out to a plank. Step up with one foot. Land. Open up that chest. Find your breath. Good. Float that hand down. Step back. Push yourself forward on the other side. Open up that chest. Good, float that hand down. Now walk back to those toes. Land here for a moment, walk forward. Good, so you're going to not walk back in between. Rotate, nice, float that hand down, step back, step forward with the other side, then open up the chest. Amazing, float that hand down, step back, walk back, touch those toes. Let's do this two more times. So come forward, nice stretch in that hip. Rotate, looking up as you can. Amazing, float that hand down, step back, step forward, other side, open it up. Amazing, float that hand down, step back, 
Walk back, touch those toes and forward. Stepping up, open it up. Good, float down, step back, other side. Open up that chest, float that hand down. Slowly round yourself up. Good, you're going to grab two hand weights. We're gonna start in a sumo squat position with a high pull, right? So you want something that's challenging, maybe 12 pounds, maybe 10 pounds, whatever it is, you're gonna have your palms facing you, coming down nice and deep, elbows come high, squeeze those glutes. Good, so lower and upper body, and we're gonna go right into a core exercise on the ground. Good, so grabbing two hand weights, palms facing you to start, nice wide stance. So those heels should be wider than shoulder width apart, 45 degree with those toes. Good. Deep breath in, bracing through the core. Come down all the way. Elbows come high. Squeeze those glutes. Yes. So you want the movement to come from those shoulders so you're not swinging into it. Keep going. Is everybody else audio wise okay? Can you hear me? No, eh? Even though you logged back in. That's really weird. Right, keep going, keep going, sorry. Christina said she can't hear. For eight, three, go, three, seven. Better, six, oh, there you go, paired. For five, four, good. Three, two, amazing, one. Good, planking, right knee to left elbow. So really core active position, nice plank position. Right knee comes to left, left knee comes to right. Right to left, left to right. Good, let's go. I want you to get that knee as close as you can to that elbow. Using those obliques, core active here. You got it. Yes, for three. Two, one and one. Amazing. Slowly round it up. Good. Picking up those weights again. Back to that sumo squat high pull. Good. Deep breath in, brace through the core as you come down, breathing out, elbows come high. Now I want you to notice. Good. Keeping that core tight, straightening those legs at the same time. Bracing through the core as you come down. And coming down into a nice deep squat if you can. Nice, Matt, so 10. Breathing. Nine, good, proud chest, good, Bettina. Eight, really good, ladies. Seven, six, well done for five. You got it, four, three, yes, two, last one, last one, one. Really good. Put it down. Right knee left, left to right. Bring that knee nice and close. Let's go. And you want to keep that core engaged. So hips nice and stable so that when you lift that leg, you're not collapsing. Good? This is different than a mountain climber, right? You're bringing that knee intentionally as close to that elbow as possible. You have three more aside here. Breathing, two, one and one. Amazing. Up you get. We're gonna do one more set of those. Grab those weights, sumo, two high pull. Wide, wide stance, good. Deep breath in, bracing through the core, breathing out, squeeze elbows high, squeeze those glutes, brace. So when I say brace, it's almost like you're keeping that fortress of your core nice and solid. So you're not breaking at the waist, right? Keeping that internal pressure to support that back, that core as you come down. Squeeze those glutes up top. You got it. Elbows high to a V. Yes. Nice, Dad. Good. For a V. Five more here. Squeeze those glutes. Four, three, two, one. Amazing, put it down. Let's go, right to left, left to right. For 10, good, bring it close, nine, 
find your breath. Eight, if you need to do this from your knees, you are able to, you're permitted to, for five. You're always allowed to modify to make this accessible. For three, two, one, one. Amazing. Take a quick, quick sip for yourself. We're gonna go into our next segment. Amazing. All you need is yourself for body weight right now. Good. We're gonna do either air squats or jump squats. 15 air squat jump squats. Then you're gonna come down to your mat in a V sit with or without a weight. We're gonna do uh, Russian twist, right back up. Jump squats or air squats, okay? When you're ready, we're gonna start in five seconds. Gather yourself for three, two, good. Sit down into it, hopping up or coming up into air squat. Yeah, landing lightly if you are jumping. Always kind to those joints. For eight, breathe. Seven, good. Six, five, hold on. Four, three, nice, ladies. Two, one, amazing. Be sit on your backside with a weight. Good, nice and controlled. If you can, float those legs up. Rotate those shoulders. Nice and controlled. Pace your breathing here. You got it. This is our active recovery for 10. You can keep that head still. It's those shoulders I want to shift. Yes. For seven, I know. Six. Nice, for five. Four. Three. Two. One and one. one. Amazing, up you get. Good. Air squats or jump squats. 15, and three, two, one, let's go. Nice and light on those toes. Yes, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, nice, three, two, one. Back down, I know it goes fast. Decent, Woo. find your breath. Let's go, we're just side to side. Yes. Three. Hold on. Four. Five. Keep those heels down. If this bothers your lower back, drive those heels down. Right? If your hip flexors are tight, this might be causing you to jump into the lower back. For five. Hold on. Four. Three. Two. One and one. Four. Amazing. Up you get. Woo! Last one. We're gonna do it together. Five seconds. Four, three, two, last one. Jump squat, air squat. Find what helps you, what works for you. You've got 10, nine, light, light, and eight, seven, good. Six, three, five, hold on. Four, three, keep going. Two, one, woo! Have a seat. Please sit right away. Let's go one side and the other. Nice and controlled. Find your breath. Okay. Nine. Yes. Eight. Seven. Six. For five. Four. Three. Two, one and one. one. Amazing. Take a sip. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds here. <clears throat> Very good, everyone. For our next round, I need you to grab a chair, a box, a step, step stool. We're gonna do a step up with a bicep curl. Good. It's going to be a little bit more slow and controlled than usual because we're going to be putting our pressure on that front foot so that we can get real activation in that glute 
in that hamstring, okay? So what it's going to look like is foot up, leaning those weights forward. I'll show you from the side. Leaning, so usually if you're doing a step up, you're going from here, right? We're gonna lose, we lean those weights forward, losing that momentum, driving up, squeeze that glute, and then your bicep curls. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 on one side to start. Actually, let's go backwards. We're gonna go 15 on each side. It's gonna feel like forever, but we're gonna do it together. Nice step, Patina, I like it. Good, good, so. One foot on, leaning forward. We're gonna go nice and controlled. Proud chest, deep breath in, all the way up, curl, down control, weight, lean towards that foot, right? So notice, if you can put the weight forward, yes, you can slow down the momentum, right? Because all the weight is on that front foot. Yes, good, let's go. That's the fastest step show I've ever seen, Natalie. I love it. Control. Nine. Breathe in. Squeeze that in. Eight. Good. Seven. Control. Six. Nice. Squeeze that glute up top, everyone, for five. Bring that left foot forward, Deb. Four when you come up. Like, tap it on the, yeah. Three. I just want you to open up that hip. Good. Two. One. 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 Good. Other side. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to gather yourself. I know my biceps are burning. <laughs> a lot of biceps, 30 in a row. Five seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, let's go. Lean on it, bicep curl. Lean forward, drive up, squeeze that glute. Make every single one count. Good? Down control. If you are doing this properly, you will feel this a lot in your glutes, right? It'll take that quad focus and put it into the glutes. Nine, breathing. Hold on, eight. Hold on, keep by it. Yes. Five more. Oh my goodness. Four. Control. Three. Squeeze up top. Two. Last one. One. Amazing. Woo! Put it down. Good. Taking one weight. We're going to put one weight in between our hands. So, two options here. Sliding pads. Sliding pads or hopping forward and back. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. If you're hopping forward and back, you're hopping forward, back. Feet shoulders apart, bracing. Row up one side, row up the other. Good? Sliding pads, same thing that you're sliding. So, a couple things. So it's going to be very metabolic, one. Two, you need to bring that focus to brace through the core, feet shoulder width apart, good, before you take a deep breath in and row to that lower rib. I want that hand to come to here. It's not here, keep that shoulder away from here, okay? Good, we're gonna do eight per side. It's gonna feel super, super long. We're gonna do it together, good? So find your position, find whatever version you need, like, Want good starting in our plank position, knees to chest. Good brace, row up one side, row up the other. Good knees to chest, row up one side, brace through the core, squeeze those glutes. Good knees to chest. Let's go. We've got six aside. Try not to rotate those hips. Knees to chest. Five. Hold on. Knees to chest. Four. Three. Oh my gosh. Three. Three. Hold on. Knees to chest. Two. Keep it tight. One and one. One. Amazing. Relax. Four moment here. Don't go far. We're going to go add in a bit of a cardio sprint. Only 30 seconds. 
mountain climber. So regardless if you're on your sliding pads or not, we're gonna add it in in 10 seconds. So gather yourself, I know, shake out those ribs when you need it. Five, four, three, two, let's go run it out. Breathing. Good. Good, 20 seconds. Hold on. Good. 15. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Amazing. Take a sip. Holy moly. I'm going to give you 30 seconds here, okay? Because we're going back into our step up bicep curl. And I know it's tough. We're going to dial it back to 12 aside, okay? I feel like we could wrap our head around that, yes? All right. 15 seconds to gather yourself. Oh my goodness. Woo! So gather yourself, take your last sip, get yourself ready. I'm going to start with the opposite side that I started with last time. Good. Again, squeezing every single one. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Bicep curl. Down controlled all the way up. Press that hip forward. Down controlled. Don't forget to lean forward, right? I want that glute doing predominant work here today. Find your breath for seven. You got it. Six. Woo. For five. Well done. Yes. Four. Nice. Three. Two. One. Other side. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Lean it forward. Twelve. Down control. Nine. I mean, eleven. <laughs> I can't count. For ten. Nine. Here we go. Control. Eight. Don't swing those arms. For seven. Yes. Six. You got it. Yeah, nice work. Five. But four. Oh my God. Three. Uh, two. One. One more. Very good. Very good. Get ready for me. Knees to chest. Row, row. I want you to challenge yourself. Minimize the swivel. I know it is way easier to swivel those hips, right? But I want you to use that core engagement to do it, okay? Let's go. Hop it forward, knees to chest. Good. Brace, row, one side and the other. Brace through the core, knees to chest for two. Good, knees to chest. Three. Knees to chest, four, breathing, four, knees to chest, five, good, three more, actually let's go five more, let's go, we've got it, four, knees to chest, pop it in nice and gently, oh my god, three, core tight, two, One and one, finish it. One and one. Oh my God. I don't know. The 10 might have been a little ridiculous to request. Good. I'm going to give you 10 seconds here. We're going to go into mountain climber, okay? Hold on. Five, four, three, two, only 30 seconds. Let's go run it out. Keep going. Good, 20. Hold on. 15. Good, for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! I'm gonna give you 30 seconds here. 
We're gonna go into our final round of that. I know, it feels like a lot. You got it, you got it. Only 10 aside. We're breaking it down. 10 aside. Still eight <clears throat> on the rows. Still 30 seconds. So, break rhomboid row is very, very core activating if you make it. So I want you to remember that while we're in that position, brace through the core, minimize that swivel, right? Because it's basically a three point flight, right? Because we're losing one. So you really need to activate to minimize that swivel, right? So it also is a core exercise. So let's maximize what we get out of it. All right, let's go. Last one, only 10 aside. So I feel like we're cutting from 15, then 12. This is completely doable. I'm gonna start with who I initially started with, my right leg. Proud chest as you lean forward, pressing up through that heel, bicep curl down slope. Good? Two. Let's go squeeze that glute nice and controlled. Breathing, three. Again, bracing through the core, stabilizing through the midsection, never jumping into the back. I know, it's not a baller. This nice big step for five. Down, control, four. All you, you got three. You got two. Last one, last one, one. One. Yes. Other side. In five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Let's go. Woo. Pressing up. For one. Down and two. Yes. Three. You got it. Four. Two fours. Five. Yes. Five more. Make it good. Yes. Hold on. Four. Squeeze at top. Three. You got it. Five down. Two. One. One. Make it good. One. Amazing. Holy, holy, the jewelry. Knees to chest. Knees to chest. Bracing. Eight per side. Core nice and tight. Okay? If it is too much, you can always go to your knees for that row if you're like, I don't know if I can keep it. Right? Find modifications so that you can stay sticking on. Ready? Let's go. Knees to chest. Brace. Row up one side and the other. Good. Knees to chest. One side and the other. Great. Take your time with this row, right? Knees to chest. Breathe in. Brace your core. On each side. We got five here. For five. Five. Knees to chest. Four. Hold on. Keep going. Three. Nice, Bettina. Nice, Michelle. Yes. Brace through the core. Nice, Matt. Good, Dad. Two. One and one. Yes. Holy. Holy. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. And we're going into our 40 second mountain climber. I know, just 10 seconds longer. But then I'm going to give you a full minute in five, four, three. Two, let's go, run it out. Yes. Pressing into those hands, lifting up through the belly, finding some lightness in those feet. Equal pressure in both sides, and running it out. Give 25 seconds here. You're doing so good. 20, breathing, hold on. 15, yes you can, stay with me. Yes, you can for 10, nine, eight, come back to me, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, mama. So good, ladies. And I'll be doing this on the morning. Ah, one full minute, one full minute. So take this time, gather yourself, take a sip of water, take a breath. Holy moly. That should challenge you. That really should challenge you. Good, we're gonna go into a 
Roman deadlift, RDL, with a row. So you can go a little heavier, especially if this is in your repertoire. Okay, watching me while you rest, good? This is how we're patterning it. Hinging back. Notice how my shoulders, my wrists, and my toes are in line, right? So the fifth, imagine a string here pulling me back, good, as you reach down, flat back. What I want you to notice that it's not this, what I want you also to notice is not this, right? So when you move forward, all your weight comes on your toes and you're putting a lot of pressure on that back, right? You want those hips to come back, always a bend, right? Nice stretch in the back of those legs, glutes on. You don't have to come, I know some of you are flexible, you can come here, but I want you to come here, really create tension, lock in those glutes, proud chest, then come up, drive those hips towards the weights, okay? So we're gonna do this together. You're gonna come down, nice tension, brace, brace, hamstrings, row up all the way down, then bring the weights forward, okay? So really controlled. Grab some weights for yourself. Good. If you can, if you're here live, turn sideways. I just wanna see everyone's form. Good. Same thing, deep breath in. Good, hinge, nice row, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, stand up. Yes, do it again. So hinge, row at the bottom. Yes, brace through the core. Now I want you to sit back in those heels. So bum down, almost like the weights are you're trying to put them on your toes. Yeah, yeah, good. You got it. Good, you've got 10 more here. Hinge, row. You should never feel this exercise in the low back. Right? It should be in those glutes, in those hamstrings, bracing through the core. Nice, Dad. Good, hold on for seven. Breathing. You got it. Six. Yes. For five. Nice. Four. Good. Three. Two. And one. Amazing. Put the weights down. Good. Single leg get this. So I want everyone to do this even if your balance sucks. Good? If your balance really sucks, you bring a chair towards you. So hips square to wherever you're leaning from. Good? Bending that standing leg. Square those hips so no opening up that hip. I'll show you this way. Right? Keep this hip down. Flex that foot, draw that leg all the way back. Good? This is as far you need, as you need to come. Then bring yourself all the way back up. So we're going back into that pattern, good? Reaching those arms forward, good? Heel comes all the way back. If it's too, if you're like, I need more balance, grab that chair, keep those hips square. Let's go. Good, hinge for 10. So what you wanna feel is in the back of the standing leg, as you reach that heel back, that you're gonna get that nice stretch that your hamstrings are like, what is going on here? Or use that wall, Michelle. Yeah, nice, guys. Flex that foot. Proud chest. Matt? Yes. Proud chest, proud chest. Right, reach that heel back. Flex that foot. Nice bend, yes. Or you should feel this in the hamstring, in the glute. It should kind of challenge you. Three. Oh my goodness. Two. Hold on. One. One. Oh my goodness. Other side. You ready? Same thing. Bend that standing leg. Drive that heel back for 10. Nice stretch. You can feel this in the glute and that hamstring. Nine. Keep that left hip pose if you're standing on your right. Eight. Hold on. Nice neutral of seven. Reach that heel back even more. Six. Yes. For five. Hold on. Good. Four. You got it. Three. Good. Two. Last one, last one. One. Amazing. Woo, shake it out. Good. We're gonna do 
a core segment on your back. A little core segment before we go back to that. Good. So, um, Debbie, hands behind your back. You're gonna keep yourself here. Good, like not back up and down. The rest of us, if you can, two options. You're gonna swing those arms all the way up. You can also do this if you just wanna do lower legs, good. Or you're gonna come all the way up and back, good. So find what variation works for you. Yeah, that's good too, ready? Three, two, one. You got it, for one, two, good now. You got it, three, four, five, nice, two, now six, seven, hold on, eight, nine, 10, good, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, hold on, for five, four, three, two, one, amazing. Holding your V-sit. Holding your V-sit. Pull that belly button to your spine. Shoulder blades back and down. You should not feel this in the back. Good. We're gonna hold it here. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Hold on. Four. Lean back. Three. Two. Nice. Drop the heels. We're gonna do a pulse up. So from here for ten. Nine. Just a little movement. Eight. Seven, tuck those ribs. Six, five. You want to sit back almost to the point of no return where it feels like you're going to have to fall. Four, three, two, one. Holy. You should feel that in the core, yes? Yes? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you, Bettina. <laughs> good. We're going to go up one last one. Deadlift row, right? Our RDL pattern row, back into our single leg, back into that final little core segment, and then we're going to be home free. You ready? Grabbing those weights. Let's go. Good. Only 10 here. Nice, good ones. Hinge, row, extend all the way up. Squeeze up top. Two, breathing. Flat back, proud chest. Three. Yes. Four, nice guys. Five, well done. One, two, six. Yes, seven, get that nice stretch in the back of the leg. Eight, breathing. Two more, nine. Well done. 10. Amazing, put it down. Single leg, single leg. Good, let's do it together. Use a wall, use the chair if you need to. Only 10. Nice long heel in the back of that leg. You ready? Bend that standing leg, reach it back. Feel that hamstring, that glute come up, please. For two, reach. Three, I always find the second time, it's like my brain and my body know what's going on. My balance is so much better. I hope you find the same. Or that both of them are equally as graceful. For five. Reach that heel back, guys. Reach it back. The more you reach, the more you're going to hit those hamstrings and glute. You should feel that automatic as you flex that foot and reach that heel. Hold them only three. Hold on. Two. No hate emails, please. If you cannot sit or walk down your stairs tomorrow, one. Woo! Just feel that right in the glute, yes? Other side. Let's go. Let's go for one. Reach that heel back. Oh, yes. Two. You're almost there, I promise. Three. Reach it. Four. Reach it. Feel that hamstring. Feel that glute. Brace through the core. Five more here. Good. Four. Yes. Three. You got it. Two. Last one, last one, one. Woo! Amazing, on your back. Let's do it together, ready? Swing your arms, find your variation that supports you. Good, let's go for one, two, three, four. Core focus, five, let's go. Six, seven, hold on, eight, nine, You've got 10 more for 10. 
keep that neck neutral. Nine, eight, good. Seven, six, good. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. V sit. Hold it. Hold it. Find your breath. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Lean back. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Heels down. Ready? We're gonna post it. Lean back as much as you can. Come up halfway. Lean back halfway. Lean back halfway. I wanted to challenge you. <sighs> Breathing. Six, for five. Hold on. Four, three. Two, one, one. Oh my God. Very good. Good. So for those of you that can, Deb, you can find a variation of this. Good, we're gonna do bicycles. So right on our back. So Deb, you might be able to do this. Good, keeping yourself upright. Yeah, awesome. Everyone else, we're just going to do 15, 20 steps per side, good? So all three inside, let's go for one, two, Final low push, three, four, five, six, seven, hold on, eight, nine, 10, you've got 10 more for 10, nine, breathe, eight, seven, four, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, relax, 10 seconds, don't get mad, we're doing one final one before we stretch. Five seconds, four, three, two, let's go. Support that neck, let's go. Find your breath. I know, it's going to layer upon what we just did. So you're gonna feel those abs, oh my God, sooner. Hold on for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, yes, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Amazing. Very good, guys. Bring yourself to seated position if you're able to. <laughs> Go ahead, bring one leg across. Let's stretch our glutes. <sighs> Very good, guys. Give yourselves a virtual pat on the back, high five, whatever you like. That was excellent. Other side. I always feel like on the days when you don't have a lot of time, I mean, even though we do 45 minutes, straighten those legs. A quick full body, right? Compound movement of lower body, upper body at the same time, then adding in a little bit of a cardio burst and a core is such a good, well-rounded little thing. So if you're looking for workouts on the weekend and you're like, yeah, I just want something for 20 minutes. Like, what can I do? Doing something like that metabolically, like bumps it up, right? You can even take out the core if you want a little bit more intensity. Do cardio, do compound movement, cardio compound. Winning combo. Winning, winning combo. Really good, everyone. Stand it up when you are ready. Finding your balance, grabbing those laces, bring those knees together, press that pelvis forward. Again, you can always, always do more stretching, after I jump off to complete this for yourself. Good, other side. Always listening to your body, what it needs, an extra little stretch, an extra little session, whatever it is. Arms behind your back, press that chest forward. Always remembering to fuel and hydrate well. Good, arms above your head, leaning to one side. Good, other side. Amazing arms, all the way up. Breathing out, folding forward, hanging out here for a moment. And when you're ready, slowly round yourself up. Ah, such a good job, guys. Give yourselves a hand. Yay!